All right, we're here at the Continental Divide, and we're going to be hiking up to Mount Ida. Mount Ida. What's the elevation, Rob? Like 12,800. Yeah, right now we're at 10,759. Rob's going to run it. I'm going to hike most of it. Part of it. Ha at least half <laughs> of it. At least a quarter of it. And then uh, when I meet up with Rob at the quarter way, I'm going to walk back down. All right, let's go. All right. <laughs> Just beginning. Rob is about what, 42 degrees right now? Low 40. What's that? Low 40. Yeah, of course, it's before the sun starts beating down on us. I think we got three and a half more miles. Uh, it's been all uphill. 30 minutes, 20% of the way. Really? So three and a half more miles. Got some pretty large elk ahead of us. Looks like four, male, five male elk. Hey Rob, being held up by five elk. Yeah, now they're literally on the trail. All right, guys, move on ahead. We're coming up. Keep moving. Keep going. We're coming. Go. Heading your way. I might hold up. There he goes. Now he's turning. Keep going, guys. There you go. It would have been a good Instagram moment. Yeah. <laughs> It's marking his territory. <laughs> Coming up behind you, buddy. Hey, buddy. Don't get spooked. Just keep yeah. eating. Coming up towards you behind you. Up here. We're just walking through. I don't want to walk right by him. <laughs> These are not the biggest ones. These are not as big as the ones we saw. Yeah, you know, they we still aren't hiking though. Yeah, they still have fuzz on their antlers. Yeah. We're coming up behind you. Don't want to spook you. Come on. There you go. Keep on hiking. We're just walking through. See you guys later. Nice seeing you. <laughs> Starting to get above tree line. And the sun's about to hit us. So we're probably gonna get pretty warm. Heading up there, you can kind of see Rob still making his way. Off in the distance, you see even higher mountains. You can see the road down there. And I'm gonna keep going. Yeah, I think. We're at 11,000 feet right now, so I'm going to keep moving. Just passed a person that just had breakfast, and they had an awesome view. Great place to have breakfast. You can kind of see the trail up ahead. Got some cool rock formations. To the right, it looks like an open pass for, for skiing. Probably not, though. So this part has been pretty awesome. Relatively flat. You can see behind me. It looks like it's pretty flat over there. But it looks no more stairs, but some steep inclines to the top. But as long as it stays like this, it won't be too bad. We'll see how I am at 12,000 feet. I am huffing and puffing right now. Actually, it looks like we're more than halfway. Yeah, looks like it levels off up here. Yeah. Then we do a final climb. Yeah, this is a couple of steep sections up here. Currently at 11,690 feet. Right. Pretty far up. Progress. Progress. 
It's getting windy up here. Yeah. It's kind of cold too. A little chilly. The sun comes out fully and warms up. I kind of wish I had gloves. <laughs> uh, well, you think it's like right up there? Yeah. Way beyond that a little more. Is it? Yeah, it's just a little peak right here. Not ours though. Uh, a false summit, huh? Yeah. I think we just go around this and go down and back up. Well, I have like another mile, mile and a half. That's what, that's what you always say. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so who's got the altimeter? You do? She does. I don't. So. Oh, wait, what? I don't know if Strava does altimeter. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> Actually, I do. You do? Phone. Oh, I don't know how accurate it is. Oh, hey, that's the wrong way, I think. Yeah. I think that's the look at My buddy Rob went up there. And he's like, yeah, it's a lookout. And he turned back. It's a very nondescript. Did Rob do this? Yeah, he walked up and then walked back. Yeah, we could take rocks and put it all in a row right here. Just like this. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're at uh, 12,150 feet. We're getting to 129, I think. Okay. Okay. See you there. See you there. Yeah. Making our way to the top. We're getting close to the peak, it's right up there. And we just came from down there. That's the view. And it's pretty thin. Um, we're definitely above 12,000 feet. But I'm gonna keep going. Is that rock protecting you? Yeah. Not really. Almost towards the top. Getting closer. Slowly but surely. I have a lot of data. I have a lot of data on this hike. That I would like to share, which is actually accurate. Alright, we made it to the top. Thanks to Rob and everybody here. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Yeah, Yay, we did it. No, that's where we're at right now. 1,294 feet. 12,940 feet. Okay. Making our way down. Uh, had a few snacks. Rob's right there. Other people are on top. They're making their way down. Rob's gonna pass me because I'll be going slow. And the views have been epic. I'm glad I did it. Even though I am super worn out. You couldn't tell it's super windy. <sighs> and uh, these little rock boulders make it interesting. I got all of this to clear. It's a bighorn sheep. We're just gonna keep talking to you. What's that? Keep going, big horn. We just want to walk through. We don't want anything to do with you. Yeah. Keep going, buddy. <laughs> All right, there he goes. Oh, it is injured. It is injured. Oh, thank God. Well, thank God for us. I don't think it's going to attack us then. I feel sorry for it. I got duct tape. I can give you duct tape if you want. You can ram Rob. He enjoys it. I'm going to keep recording. Hopefully it'll ram you. Yeah. Made it back on the main trail. Uh, we took a side trail, uh, skipped a bunch of those huge boulders, but now we just got like maybe two and a half hours to get back to the car. So I passed a few more people on the way up to the summit. They're in for a treat. Uh, they also look very beaten down. Uh, I 
I told them the views that they have right now is just as good. Obviously, if you get to the top, it's way better, but they were hurt. So, hopefully, if they're too tired, they can come back. The views here are just as good. That's where I'll be passing through. This is what I'm dealing with right now. Rob's uh, up ahead. There's a few people behind me. We'll be catching up because I'm slow. But regardless, I'll make it back to the car. Made it below tree line. It's definitely a lot warmer now. A lot less windy. Stripped some layers. Rolled up my pants. The capris. <laughs> and uh, it's a lot more people now because we are getting closer to the trailhead. Uh, so far it's been a good hike. That long stretch out in the uh, exposed area, I don't remember it being that that boring. The scenes look great, but I don't remember it being that long. I couldn't wait to get down to here, back into the pines. It's just a whole lot cooler. Getting closer to the trailhead, I'm starting to hear more cars and more people. Um, obviously, Rob already made it back. Might be going to some of the visitor center. Hopefully, no more hikes. But knowing Rob, we're gonna do another hike. Oh well, that's why I came out here. See this national park. There's the lake. Almost there, so exciting. Almost finished. Just getting back. Overall, I did like the trail. I don't think I was just physically or mentally prepared for it. Um, it was definitely a long, long day. Maybe should have brought a little bit more food to eat. Luckily, Rob gave me some of his. Uh, thousand grand, thousand grand candy bars, some other stuff, some gummy bears. A little bit of his water, but overall good. Now that I can say that I'm pretty much done with it, I did enjoy it. So let's go to our next hike. And we're back down to 10,880 feet. We're uh, heading out to that other visitor center. Uh, Cha -cha -chi -chi. Yeah, I'm not sure. It might be. Too late now. Yeah. I'd rather have you not drive back with the sun setting in your eyes. Yeah, uh, it can be as bad as the sunrise in my eyes. <laughs> That's what I want to avoid. Yeah. I kind of want to get back alive. Yeah, without going over the cliff. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, these steps. 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 Yeah, that, that hike was definitely tough. Especially that open section. I don't remember the open section being that exposed. The open section. Remember we were just walking on the like on the plains along the side of the mountain? Uh, I don't remember yeah. it being that exposed. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. I, mean, yeah. I thought so. It was kind of boring. I always think it's tougher going up and it seems more exposed. Yeah. Coming down is not a big deal. Yeah. It's pretty warm though. Yeah, it definitely got warmer as soon as you got into the into the woods. Yeah. Not a bad hike. Yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah. 